Impact TV. I'm Corey Williams, and this is Famous Nobody. Our first guest today is none other than Suggest Electrifying Point Guard, Combo Guard, Guard, God, Terrell Stoglin. T, what's up, man? How you doing, brother? How you doing, brother? Everything is good, man. Glad you're here. Happy to be here with you, man. This is our first episode, and I wanted you here because right. I believe you do. You, 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 this is your, your, your platform to let everybody know who Terrell Stoglin is. I need to know who Terrell Stoglin is. So tell me, who is Terrell <laughs> Stoglin? All right, first off, uh, I want to give honor to God, who's ahead of my life. Without him, I wouldn't be here. Amen. You know, I, I just want to say that uh, who Terrell Stoglin is, he's just a hard worker, a guy that come from nothing and trying to make something of nothing. And that's it. Where you from, man? I'm from Tucson, Arizona. It's like two hours away from Phoenix, Arizona. Got you. It's a little town. Nothing. Shout out to the West Coast. West Coast, always. Uh, ain't nothing out there, you know what I'm saying? So uh, everything out there is just basketball players trying to become something. And I'm, I'm that person for them. So I always wear Tucson hats or a B hat, you know what I'm saying? Just right. to show my love to my hometown. Right, right. That's what's up. That's what's up. For sure. Um, Tell me something, like, you know, um, I, did a, I didn't, I usually do a lot of research on people I interview, but I purposely did not do any research on you because I feel like this is your platform to let everybody know from your mouth. Right. Who you are, where you from, and what you're about, and what got you to this point. So, what college did you go to? I went to Maryland University. Uh, what got me to the point that I'm at is failure. You know what I'm saying? I've been through a lot of fails. You know, I went to college for two years. I got kicked out over different things in the college that I didn't, you know, man up about. And uh, ever since then, it's been a growing period for me. And uh, I played every every country in Europe, every league, and uh, it's brought me here. And mm. since I've been here, you know what I'm saying, I, I've been accomplished, I've been successful, and I owe that all to my failures. You know, so that's, that's, what deep. I, that's what I stand for. That's deep. That's, that's what deep. I stand for. So how you enjoying Lebanon, man? <laughs> I'm enjoying Lebanon a lot. You know what I'm saying? The people are good. Uh, they let you be your own person. You know, they don't uh, clutter you with different rules and different things like that that Europe does. You know what I mean? They let you be you, and they let you just play basketball. And the thing about Lebanon that I love the most is there's a lot of basketball fans. You know what I'm saying? Love, and those are the ones that make the basketball players play the way they play. You know what I'm saying? Right. If you want a player to play great, then you got to have give them that love. Right. And they do that here. So so I love it here, that man. That they definitely do. I can definitely you know I can that. definitely you know they that. love. The love is real. You know, the, the love is real. The red warrior, the red warrior already, right here. Already. <laughs> Green warrior you already, know. already yeah, man. Yeah, you already know. You already know. So what are your what are your aspirations at the end of the day, you know? You've come into this league, you've lit this shit up. Real talk. Yeah. You know, um, there's a lot of prolific scorers I've seen yeah. in this league and in my career all over the world. Yeah. You have come into this league and you've put up some serious fucking numbers. Serious numbers. Yeah. Any aspirations for possibly being on the Lebanese national team? Any aspirations of uh, possibly getting, trying to get to the NBA? How old are you? I'm 23. You're 23. You are a baby, brother. For You're sure. young. You know what I mean? For so sure. I know at the end of the day, as much as the love you get here, you know, you're young. So I know at the end of the day, you're definitely trying to get into this show. Yeah. So talk to me about possibly playing for the national team or NBA. Has anyone approached you about the NBA? Yeah. I can tell you straight up just from the get-go, like, just you saying that, that's respect. You know what I'm saying? Because I respect you from the get-go for who you are, what you stand for. Appreciate that, uh, bro. Second of all, yeah, I mean, I want to play at the highest level possible. Any basketball player or competitor, they want to play at the highest level possible. So, you know, whatever happens from here to the summer, I want to see what happens. Right. But I'm, I'm not going to rush anything. Right. Right now I'm here. I'm going to enjoy it. And my goal for here is to win a championship. That's all I want. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm playing good because I won a championship. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? I study film. I watch other players. That's great. I compare myself to them, and I try to beat them, and I see what I get. And so, like, so far, I've been successful. So, that's it. So, it's definitely safe to say, for me, you're definitely a student of the game. You watch your craft. Yeah, I'm a student, man. I watch uh, Pete Maravich, you know, Pistol mm, Pete. Pistol. I watch, I watch Magic. 
I watch Jordan, I watch Kobe, and definitely Allen Iverson. That's my favorite player of all mm. time. Hey, yeah, that's yeah. what's up. That's so what's up. I take from all their games, you know what I'm saying? Right. I try to get their mindset, what they feel in the game, right. and I try to do it. Because, like you said, I'm only 23, and I'm trying to get to my peak. I, I don't think I peaked till I'm 27, so I, I'm trying to get there. Right, right. That's real. That's what's up. That's what's up. It's so, true. um... Talk to me about your relationship with your coach. How how, how has Fuhad help, helped you, like, do your thing here? You know, has he helped you fit in with the system and, and everything with the Suggest family? Yeah, I mean, he's helped me a lot because he's able to adjust to who I am. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of coaches in Europe, they couldn't adjust to who I was. And you know what I'm saying? I'm like the people in, uh, in Lebanon. You know, I like to have a good time, but I like to work hard. Right. And like people in Europe, they didn't understand that. They just know work hard, work hard, work hard. Right. They don't know how to enjoy yourself as a person. So out here, you know, Fowai lets me be myself and he expects the best from me. And anytime someone expects the best from you, you always want to give them your best. So he's helped me be successful because of that. Well so. said, man, well said. Shout out to Fuhad. Very good yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, coach. You know, um, up, coach? I love the massage parlor. Where you at? I went yeah. once and it was cool, you know? He gave me actually a free massage, so it was pretty cool. Yeah. Um That's the Godfather. Four, are you the Godfather? <laughs> I told you. I told you. So you said you mentioned about two minutes ago, you mentioned the goal was a championship. Yeah. There's one team that stands in front of you. Yeah. Riyadi. Riyadi, yeah. People may want to know. I want to go into this real quick, yeah. and I want to hear your side of it, because I don't think you've gotten your chance to really speak about it verbally to the people. Talk to me. What happened that day in Riyadi? We all know the day. There was a fight that broke out. Melee. That shit looked like Detroit <laughs> against Indiana. <laughs> what the fuck happened? Man, to be honest with you, what happened was I was frustrated. I was frustrated because I don't like to talk on other players. I'm a professional, but, like, they was playing dirty on me, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm from a place where you play basketball, and if a player's better than you, then he's better than you. And you figure out a way to become better to outperform him. Got you. You know what I'm saying? And over there, they had, like, four or five players that guarded me in one game, and each one of them was dirty. So, you know, everyone saw the video, you know, I try to push the dude, get him off me. Right. And I, I got hit, you know what I mean? But, you know, I'm not here I'm not here to a advocate violence or nothing like right. that. But, you know, if I knew it was going to go that way, then I would have approached it a different way. Right. But, right. I, but I'm a professional, so, you know, right. I right. handled it the way I was supposed to handle it. And that's it. Okay. You know? Okay. Cool. So we're gonna move on from that subject. For sure. Love. Let's talk about. Let's talk about. Love, <clears throat> nigga. The NBA, right? Yeah. Who's your favorite team right now in the league? Are you watching the league? Uh, the only thing that I watch from the league is the ones that hit my agent up to recruit me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're here to be real. Hey, that's a great answer. Hey, we're here I to respect be real, that. You know I respect what I'm that. Like, who right. wouldn't watch a team that's trying to recruit you because you right. want to see how you fit in that chemistry? Right. So we won't talk, we won't mention the name of that team nah. who's recruiting you. We ain't jinxing nothing. No, nah, no. Nah. But outside of that, who is, like, pretty much, what are the players, the current players right now you follow in the league? The current players that I follow hard is Kobe, LeBron James, Steph Curry, and Kyrie Irving, mm -hmm. and Damon Lillard. That's it. That's it. And That's your five. And the only reason why I follow Kyrie <clears throat> and Damon Lillard is because I play with them because they're my age. And mm -hmm. I played against them and played with them. Right. And the other ones are just people that I look up to. Right, right. So That's it. Right. That's it. That's what's up. I don't watch nobody else. Who you think going to win the chip in the NBA? Man, I don't even know. Only reason being is because I don't follow the league like that. Gotcha. I just follow those players. Gotcha. What numbers they put up. Matter of fact, the time I put up 58 is because I watched Klay Thompson put up 51, like two days before that. Mm. And I was like, yo, if I'm as good as him, then I got to produce as well as he did. Mm. And I got 58. You hear that, people? You know, that's the only time. That was his, that's where his mental focus was at. He's seen one of the players that he looks at, and he looks up and follows, saw his numbers, and said, you know what? I'm going to do the same shit, too. That's 100. And damn sure he did. That's 100. Damn sure he did. All right, let's go into the mindset you had. I was in Dubai when I got a text, and they said, have you seen the Stoglin dude? 
He had 76. So I'm like, what? <laughs> Who the fuck was guarding him? How the fuck he get 76? So I went and saw your numbers and your field goal percentage, to my, to my um, knowledge, was really good. Yeah. So you shot at a high clip from the three and the two and the free throws. 68%. So that was more impressive than anything 68%. for me. And I'll be honest with you, like 100%, no exaggeration, I was with my girl and I was watching uh, Kobe score 81. And I was telling her, like, I feel like I had the same mindset as, as them, as the killers, as Kobe and Jordan, because, like, I feel like there's no limitation. I was watching a whole bunch of Bruce Lee videos, you know, all week. Right. He was talking about, like, as a human, we limitate ourselves to certain things. Mm. It's not heard of, so we can't do it. And so I was like, yo, like, just because this isn't heard of doesn't mean I can't do it. So I went into that game, and I was just like, don't think about the points. Just think about what you can do as a, as a player. And I wasn't missing. And as I kept going, as I kept going, I was looking at the score, the scoreboard, and I was seeing the points I was putting up. And I was like, remember, there's no limitation. Mm. Keep going. And I, that, that's honestly how I, I hit 76. That's deep, man. That's you know, honest. That's real deep. That's you honest. Know, you said Bruce Lee. You, you, you tapped in into, like, your inner soul. That's your spirit talking, and that's the energy. Yeah. You yeah. know, that's your essence, man. Like, that's that's... That's really impressive and deep that you went into Bruce Lee. You didn't mention a ball player. You said Bruce Lee. Yeah, definitely. You know, so um, big ups, big ups, props to that, man. Thank you. Where, where, some people, I've been told that, some suggest fans. Yeah. Love you and say you are a god yeah. to suggest. Yeah. And some suggest fans say... Terrell Stoglin doesn't like to pass. Yeah. What do you want to say? What do you feel about like that? Like, that's how some people like look at your game. Like yeah. they say you don't like to pass. There's games I've seen you with eight assists, yeah. nine assists, seven assists, ten yeah. assists. For sure. So clearly you pass For sure. to the open man. I played against you. For sure. And you pass For sure. to the open man. For sure. What do you want to say to those fans? And those people. Honestly, the only thing I can say is like, you look at the stats; they speak for himself. And uh, a person who can score a lot of points and get a lot of assists at the same time is a student of the game. That's a person that plays chess, not checkers. That's a person that understands where the defense is going to be, where I can get my points at, where I can set my man at, and it's also a person that knows the different personalities of their players. You know what I'm saying? You scored 45 points and had nine assists. That's not a fluke. That means that you, you was playing chess while you was playing the game of basketball. It's not just basketball. You playing chess. I know my strong suit for my big man, so I set him up. I know where Ellie Stefan is going to be at. He's a shooter, so I can set him up. I had most of my assists from Ellie Stefan the last game. I had 10 assists, right. and it was from him. You know, because yeah. I just I just knew his strong suit, right? And I knew where I can pick my points at the same time. That's just a student of the game, right? right. But once the thing I'm selfish, I ain't got nothing to say to them. Just you know, look at the stats and and watch the game. And if you know basketball, then you know the shit's chess. It's not checkers. Amen to that. Amen you know that. that. You well know said. what I'm saying? Well you said. know that. Well said. I'm you, with you. You, you know? know that. Shit. I'm giving you this platform. Yeah. You know, there's so many people. And you we know. spoke behind the scenes. We spoke behind the scenes for yeah. about an hour and a half. Yeah. You know, and I got to really know this brother, but this is what this platform is for. For you guys for sure. to know who this man is. Yeah, you know, man. All right, I want to talk about Europe a little bit. Okay. Okay. Um, I like to talk about how did you feel you were claustrophobic there? You know, oh, they man. weren't letting you talk to me about how you felt you can excel here more than there. What's the difference? The difference between Europe and here is that they're more acceptable for who you are as a basketball player here. If you're a scorer, they want you to be a scorer here. If you're a rebounder, they want you to be a rebounder, like Mike Frazier. If, you, if you're a passer, they want you to pass a Corey Williams. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They know your strengths and they let you be that. In Europe, they try to define you off what they want. So if you go to Italy, which I played in, they want you to be just a passer. That's it. If you score, you're doing bad. You want to be a passer. That's it. 
If you go to Greece, they want you to be a scorer. If you're a passer, then that's bad. You're just supposed to be a scorer. So they, they limitate you to different things. Mm -hmm. But in the Middle East, they let you be who you are. The Middle Easy. At the Middle Easy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they let you be who you are. And who wouldn't want to play for a team like that? You know what I'm saying? Right, My right. strength is to shoot threes. So you let me shoot threes? Right. Okay, I'll right. do that. But in Europe... Your strength is to shoot threes. No, we're going to change you. We're going to make you an assist man instead of a three-point shooter. No one wants to play for nothing like that. All right, I got you. It's totally, tough. totally understandable. It's tough. So the love is definitely in the Middle East for you. The best, the best, the best um, basketball you've played thus far and the love and admiration and the success you've had thus far has been here in Lebanon. Definitely, definitely here. It reminds me of the NBA. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, they look at us as NBA players. And you know what I'm saying? And they're right. You know, we do the same things that they do. They look at us as scorers, as assist men, as three-point shooters, and we got to do that unless we get we get cut. You know, definitely, what I'm saying? you so definitely like, got to perform. You got to put on. You got to. Right. So I, I mess with it. I that's, fuck with it. That's a, have you learned any Arabic yet? I learned shook run, <laughs> and. Uh, that's it, man. Shook and Yalla. You got to know Yalla. I know Yalla. I know. <laughs> you got to know Yalla. Coaches always speak Yalla. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what's up, man. So, you know, somehow, yeah. listen, fans, yeah. suggest fans, please get this man a teacher who can <laughs> teach this man some Arabic. <laughs> it's better for you to do this. He may stay in the country longer. <laughs> so, um, look, I know Suggest fans may want you to sign a fucking lifetime contract. Yeah. Talk to me, man. Like, you know, uh, are they talking about extension? Is there any possibilities of you staying in the green? Yeah, just between us. I mean, like, yeah, it's an extension, but it's an extension with other other countries as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, China's always a, always, always a, uh, a great job to have. Uh, the United States is always a good job to have. So I'm just trying to see what happens. We haven't played the finals yet. Right. So I have a lot to prove right. still. So I'm, I'm And ultimately, on ultimately your goal is? To win that shit. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay, okay. I'm only here to win the championship. Okay. There's That's... one team in your way. You are in second place. Yeah. There is a team in first. Yeah. They got home court advantage. Yeah. How that gonna go down? Like, what, what do you predict? Like, I know you're saying you want to win a chip, but I'm gonna be like, honest with you. Like, as as an advocate of the game of basketball, no one says we're gonna play them in the finals. Amen to that. And the thing is, no okay. one no one said we're gonna be in the finals. That's that's true. So that's the only true. the only thing I can say is if we meet in the fin if we meet in the right. finals, if we have a, another big man, we'll win that joint because you know. Not just talking crazy, but I don't I don't see anybody on their team that could stop me, mm -hmm. and I don't see anyone that could stop Julian. So what about Jamal Young? He's a good defender. He just sprained his ankle. He's out for the rest of the year. So they bringing somebody else in? They might if they if they do. That's a great question. If they do, it's okay because I have the confidence in Jamar that no one can defend like him. Because mm. I played him in Dubai. Right, I played right, him right. In the finals. That is true, right, right, right. He put right. up 48 points. Right. Not a lot of people can do that. Right. Not a lot of people can do that. Right. What so, you had, though? 58. So. Oh, not a lot of people can yeah. do that either. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that was a hell of a... Listen, that game may have been one of the best games. Yeah. Probably in the Middle East basketball. That shit went double overtime. Double. Like, that's that's one of the uh, games that probably will go down in history as one of Man. the best games Riyadi suggests. Man, we was tired, too. Yeah, to yeah, I, I, I can imagine, you know, I can imagine. Like, yeah. So, you know, the tough loss, big loss for Riyadi, because Jamal Young... Another brother, you know, um, we all from, look, man, we all, everybody right here. Thank you. We from the inner city. Hell yeah. All right, I'm from the Bronx, New York. Yeah. You from the streets of AZ. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? We worked our asses off to get where we at. Mm -hmm. If we did not, we would not be here sitting down right. on this couch talking to you, reaching right. out and speaking to you, you know? So that's what this platform is for. Right. To hear our stories, to hear his story, to be interviewed and just, we're just blessed and happy to be here. We just want you guys to appreciate the things you're hearing, because a lot of times ball players come here, they come and they go. You yeah. don't hear their stories, all you know is what they do. I want you guys to know basketball is what we do. 
Yeah. It's not who we are. Especially when there's things in between, too. Like, when you're going over, like, the different dramatic things of life, you know what I'm saying? Like, being at the, the bottom of life, you understand who you are and what you're supposed to do, and that helps you be successful in basketball. You know what I mean? Like, basketball is my job. I just realized that last summer, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Before last summer, I thought basketball was who I was, but I learned that quick. And I thank God for learning at a young age because it, it gives me a path to be successful in, in the upcoming years. 100%. Definitely. You know, a lot of times, Definitely. we only learn through hindsight. Definitely. After we go through and fuck shit up, make these mistakes, then we like, damn, now I know what I should have done. Man. And it's too late a lot of times for so many of us. Me too. You know, so it's, it's a blessing that for, for, for you, You've learned that at a young age. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, For sure. you know, um, talk to me. How was growing up in, in, in Phoenix, in AZ? You know what I mean? How, how was life growing up? All right. First of all, I grew up in Tucson. And in Tucson, we don't have anything because only people know about Arizona is Phoenix. True. You know what I'm saying? True. And without Phoenix, there's no Arizona. Son. Right. So, like, me and my girl, you know what I'm saying? We come from Tucson, Arizona, and we coming from nothing. So like, my my objective coming out here was to be responsible, to show people that just just because I'm from Tucson, I can't be successful. No, I can be successful. Right. You know what I'm Amen. saying? Amen. And and that's what I stand for. Everyone knows about the Bronx. They know about Brooklyn. They know about Compton. They know about things like that. And I have family in every single part of them them countries. You know right. what I'm saying? But no one knows about Tucson. And I'm that person to be like, yo, like Tucson isn't just a, a, a lovely place. Like, there's people that don't know how to get out of this city, and I'm that one to get out of that city, so I'm gonna speak for them, and that's who I am. That's what's and, up, and, man. And that's it. That's what's up. And that's it. I that's see it in your game. That's it. That's I it. see it in your game. You that's play, it. you play, again, you play like your life depends on it, because it does. You know what I'm saying? And I see the aggression. Man. I see how you play. I see the passion with how and you play. I can play. tell you about that. You know what I'm saying? And Talk I to you, me. I can tell you about that. The reason why I play the way I play is for my family, my father, my uncle, my cousins, the one that look up to me. Like, these people, they don't have the opportunity because they never went to college. They never went to JCs because they didn't have the grades. They didn't have shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, they don't have nothing. I'm that person for them. And so I take that shit to the heart. And everywhere I go, everywhere I be, it's, it's, it's B and it's Tucson, Arizona. And, and the reason why I have her with me is because she's an advocate of that. Because she's from where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? She's been at the bottom like I've been at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? She's been through what I've been through. So what better person to be with you than someone who's experienced what you experienced? No one. So Amazing, yo. That's why she's with me. Your story is inspiring. You know, there's so many people. There's so many people who want to hear about you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of guys here, a lot of people here in this country, in Lebanon, in the Middle East, after what you put on in Dubai. Yeah. You know what I mean? These, 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 these games we play... They're shown all over throughout the Middle East. Yeah. They don't know who Terrell Stoglin is. You know what I'm saying? So it's important that they hear this and they feel where it's coming from. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got a deep soul, bro. You got a deep spirit. You got your energies proper. For sure. You know that's what love. I'm saying? Yeah, and that's, that's love. love. And that's why I'm, I'm, I'm happy. And Tag TVs, they're happy. We're happy to have you here on this red couch yeah. telling your story, yeah. sharing your experiences. You know what I mean? And just talking. Just... Just talking. This is what it is. You know, it's just like we're we on our couch, man. Hell yeah. It's our living room. Hey, this is where we at. Cheers to that. Shit. You know, this is where we at, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Just just talking life stories, man. You know, this is not a proper interview. This is not a this is not anything proper. It's just nah. us in our living room. Yeah. Talking to you through your living room. Yeah. You know, your PC, your phone, whatever it is, you know, just just guys living their dream. Living the dream. And appreciating you watching us tell our stories, tell his story. And believe me, it is a dream. It is a dream, man. I never thought in a million years I'll be here, you know what I'm saying, talking to you on, you know, on the red couch. I respect you.
for everything you stand for. Appreciate it, so brother. So for me to be here, it's like, it's respect. How, how can you respect me to be on here with you? You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Right. That's how my girl feel. We both feel the same way. Just like we thought that swimming pool was 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 glass. It yeah. wasn't real. It was a beautiful. It was a beautiful sight. Look at this lit up. Look at this lit up. It's exactly, lit up. Exactly. <laughs> we never lived this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's a blessing, man. And I just give the honor to the Lord. Amen. Amen. That's real. Amen. On this Easter weekend, man. You That's know, we're definitely giving it up. Happy Easter to everybody out there. Whether everybody. you, whether you. Christian, Catholic, Muslim, whatever you are, you know what I mean? Happy holidays, you know, yeah. either way. Yeah. We don't even care what that, it ain't about nationality, race, religion, you know, it's just all love. We're just sending positive energy and positive vibes from this red couch to wherever you are watching it. Yeah, That's all we are about. No that is that all shit. we are about. Yeah. To know us is to love us. <laughs> Hear our stories, hear our experiences, feel us. Feel our pain, feel our passion, feel our love. You know, and, and that's just all what we want to get across to you all. Definitely. I really, really appreciate you here. I really do, man. Sure. You know, I just want you to keep doing your thing. Yeah. Keep doing your thing because you're young. The best is yet to come for you if you stay the right path. Yeah. Keep the right mindset. It's very important. Believe me when I tell you. For sure. You know what I mean? For sure. Talk about your matchup. Who are you playing in the playoffs? <laughs> All right, we play Homerton. 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 They Here will kick your ass. My head, man. Listen, Homerton, <laughs> kick his fucking ass for not knowing your name kick right. Kick my ass and talk that shit. Okay. Because it only fuels me. Okay. Talk all that shit. Do not let him get off of that. This oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's your camera. Only, Do only not let him shit. get away with that, Homerton. I didn't say your name right, so, uh, you know. Don't let him get away with that shit. You damn shit. Okay. They yeah. have. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get on me about that. What are you shit. averaging? 31. Okay. It should be 40. Okay, but it's what? It's 31. All right. All right. They have a guy Nigga. named Dion Dixon. <laughs> Chicago. Another motherfucker from the bottom. Shy town. 29 points something. Nine assists. Right. I'm going to get back to the Let assist leader, Dion Dixon. Let me Let's tell you about, talk this, about shit. this. Let me tell so you let's about talk. this shit. Let's talk. All right. Talk to me. He, what, you what averaging 30 point what? All right. 30, 31.4. Okay. All right. He's at like 29 point something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can keep it back. What's this, what's this matchup going to be like? We because at keep... the end of the day, y'all going to have to guard each other at some point in this. And how is that going to go? We can keep it basketball. And at the end of the day, I'm about respect. I don't care about what fans think. I don't care about what people think. I'm about respect. If you're on a court with me and you respect me, then I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? If you don't respect me, then we're not cool. And, like, for him to average 29, whatever he averaged, it's not respect because I feel like he's coming at my head. Right. And just like Spencer, like, Spencer, oh. he took he took my place in the scoring average. Hold on. He took Spencer from Mutahead. Hold on, he hold took, on, hold on. I was talking about Dixon. I don't know how we get to Spencer, uh, but we're going to talk about it. Shout out to D. Spencer, the homie. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Keep on the bottom. It's love. All right? It's love. D. Spencer is averaging 30 point something. It's love. Listen, man, this conversation heating up. It's love. This shit is heating up. It's love. All right, but all like, right. But, like, as a competitor, right. it don't matter where I'm at in the world. Right. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm the better player and the better scorer. Right. So... I don't want nobody above me. Okay. So when I saw Spencer above me, right. that's when I had the 40 and 10. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I can go as high as they, they set the bar. Right. I can go right. as hard as they set the bar. If Spencer come out and put up 60, I'll put up 70. Oh, you don't listen. If, if, no, no. I'm you don't being listen. I'm being, I'm being 100% listen. honest. Yo, D. Spencer, I'm going to let him finish. Go ahead. As God is my witness, I'm being humble. I love I'm being, it. I'm being for real. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If Dion comes out the first game and he put up 50, I'm put up 60 mm. because this is this is the bar that is set. You know what I'm saying? If you don't if you don't catch the bar that's set, then you're not a competitor. Mm. And I feel like every American that's here is a competitor. They are. You know what I'm saying? They are. And and you wouldn't be here if you wasn't a competitor because they wouldn't sign you. Right. All the competitors is here. Right. So I want to be the best competitor. 
So I don't care who you are. If you put up 60, I put up 70. You put up mm. 80, I put up 90. Mm. If you put up 50, I put up 60. Mm. And we'll go from there. And my Yo, team will win. Listen, I'm a, I'm a winner. Listen to me. Tag TV. Friends, mm. family, and followers. Oh, shit. Hear me out. Commitment. Move the head. I'm being real. Suggest to Damon, <laughs> UVA, Riyadi. Anybody else I left out? Who? Sorry. <laughs> this man sounds to me like he's on a mission. On a mission. Understand, D. Spencer, keep putting him them numbers. You got to. He's saying you got to. You ain't gonna pass him. You got to. Dixon, you this your matchup. Show me something, fam. But they feel it though. But I can always, I can honestly say, if you put this on a video or not, they feel it. You know what I'm saying? As a competitor, you feel it. Right. He took he right. took the he took the crown for like two days. And he was waiting to see what I did. Right. And I was like, okay, nigga, I'll give you 50. Nigga, right. I'll give you 45. Hey, listen, 50, at the nigga. end of the day, nigga. those two motherfuckers, you three, you some motherfuckers can score. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but, but and nigga, at the end of the day. You, you score and get assists, nigga. So yeah. let's not let's not take you out no. of the equation, nigga. Look, I'm not even gonna be I'm the interviewer. You I'm might, not gonna be you might, you my enemy too. I'm nigga. the interviewer. Let's not get it I'm twisted, the interviewer. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm the interviewer. Let's not get it twisted, All right? nigga. I'm the interviewer. They, I'm gonna they, stay out they, of it. They know Corey, nigga. You know they what don't saying? know Terrell, nigga. Right. Everybody over here doing the film, they know Corey. They don't know Terrell. Right. Nigga, so you my enemy too, nigga. Right. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Because at the end of the day, yes. Yeah. The, the, the cape I have on now yeah, the is <laughs> this, but I do have the uniform on as well. 100, 100, 100. That's respect. 100. Much day. love. You are ready. All day. Shout out to Dixon, Dion Dixon. Yeah. Shout out D. Spence. Yeah, we, you know what I mean? Y'all keep doing y'all you thing. Man. We play you niggas Thursday. I yeah. got you. Nigga. It's on. It's on. It's on and popping. Much Fuck love. Here, you know? Seanville today lost. One, I'm sorry, Jeanville won let me, let by me say, three points. Let me say, they play good against us, though. When right. they Every time they play suggest, them niggas don't miss a shot. Who's this? Seanville. Seanville. They don't miss a shot. They're not in your bracket either, actually. They're not, they're, they're not thank God. Yeah. They don't, <laughs> thank you, Lord. They don't miss a shot. Right, right, They make right, everything. Right. Their coach, he coaches well. Gassan Sarkis, well-respected well. coach, yeah. They're, they're Shout players, out, Gassan. They, they play well. They play well all the time mm -hmm. when they play us. Mm -hmm. But when they don't play us, they lose. And I don't get it. You know what it is? I don't Maybe get it. Maybe sometimes... Some teams here, you know, sometimes they Tell play to the know. level of the competition. Between you know what me, I'm saying? I'm telling you, nigga, they don't miss. They don't miss. No. Yeah. And that, you can watch the a film lot of for personal. yourself. I right. got the film with her. I watch the shit every day. <laughs> I watch, don't I? I watch the film every day. Student of the game. Yo. Watch his film. They don't miss. Student of the game, he watches film. You got to. Young players you out there, to. understand. You got to. To perfect your craft and become better. You, got you can't watch your good days. No. Nah. You can't just, you don't throw your bad days away. Nah. You got to watch those. You got to watch. That's how you get better. Yeah. Tell them, because they Hell think yeah. I'm bullshit. You got to watch, watch your bad days, because your bad days make for the good days. As many bad days you watch, as many good days you have. So when you watch, when you make a mistake, there's so many good things you're going to do in the future. You know what I'm saying? So I learned that at the age of 22. I'm 23 now. I'm barely being successful now. I'm on the red carpet, you know what I'm saying? Barely. You know what I'm saying? Red the couch. red couch. Red couch, barely. You know. Tag man. TV, listen. This is our first interview. Yeah. For Famous Nobody. And I'm, I, I am truly, I'm happy, man. I'm happy that Terrell decided to come on and talk. I wanted to give him his opportunity to let everybody know who he is. You know, and this is what it is. This is a living room, okay? This is where we are. It's a living room. You come here, you sit down, we have some drinks, we eat some snacks, and we just chill and kick back. Nothing formal. And we just talk shit. We talk what we want to talk about. Talk the real, man. We talk real. This is real. You know, what and... you don't get in an interview. This is what you will not get in an interview. Exactly. You know, and I'm telling you now, this show... Is gonna continue to rise every episode. This is the show you would want to get on, and chances are probably you guys couldn't even get on. <laughs> I ain't even gonna bullshit you. <laughs> Believe me, I'm not even gonna bullshit you. Oh, it's not just gonna be athletes and basketball. No, 
Oh, We're doing models, singers, Damn, that's actors. Cold, nigga. You, you real, nigga. You know, we're going high level with this, you know? People um, doing real shit. Man. You never know where I'll be. I might show up in fucking Ibiza. <laughs> I might be in fucking Rome. Might be in Hollywood. You never know. <laughs> Believe me. The goal is to, the setting never be the same twice. Yeah. Let's do it big. Stay tuned. You know, we're here with Terrell. And I want to tell you, it's been a pleasure. It's been an absolute pleasure. I can only be honest. Listen, man, it's an absolute honest. pleasure to sit here and talk with you, man. For sure. You know? Yeah. It really is, man. That's love. It really it's, is. It's love. What's your Instagram? We're going to do this right. All I right. need my man to get like 50,000 followers. All right, all right. Tell him. Tell, him, tell every camera. My we got multiple cameras here. My Instagram is tstolen12. That's it. I want you to look. Hey, the five I, I cameras said, we yeah, have, I, we got two here, we 12, got two here, we got one here. I was number 12 in college, I was number 12 in pros. No no other number. It's T Stogan 12. That's it. You follow that, you follow me. It's all love, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no, I ain't no special to nobody else. I, I'll be real with you, I ain't no special to nobody else. The only thing that's special for me is that I don't, I don't quit. You know what I'm saying? I keep going. And when you give me more failure, that's more MO for me. You know what I mean? I get hyped off that. You know what I'm saying? When you tell me I can't do it, I want to do it more. You know, and that's, that's, that's me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't done. That's honestly me. Man. I don't, an interview in a while. I ain't shit. I'm just, that's just me. And I can tell you this right now. I am ready to play basketball right the fuck now. Hype up, like, nigga. What's like, up, I, nigga? Listen, I ain't even going to bullshit you. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready to play ball right yeah. now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't too many people you can sit down and talk to that will charge you up and give you juice and energy ready to play. Man, you different. You know though. what I'm saying? Like... This ain't gonna go on the, on the DVD, but uh, you this, different, like, though. Like, listen, and man. And you like, different, though. You know what I'm saying? This red couch, B, you that's different, what it's though. about. You different, though. You're gonna come here, you're gonna be yourself, you're gonna chill, you're gonna kick back, and we're gonna talk. You different, though. We're gonna talk real you know shit. Like, it's not gonna be a politically correct interview. I'm gonna ask you some shit. Look, what I talk. What, what I gotta say is gonna make you score 40, nigga. You honest, like, yo, Easy. fam. Easy, nigga. I'm you here, I'm like, like yo, I'm listen, 40, nigga. Like, yo, fuck. I'm uh, ready to hoop. Like, I'm, if, if Coach said, nigga. shout out to the Red Army. To Damon, the Red Army. Red Army, and that's who this man is. You know, if if y'all told me right now we had practice at motherfucking nine o'clock, you go kill that. I shit. will be there, ready. Go kill that shit. You know, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's, your it's voice, only love. It's your only voice, love. your message, your vibe, your energy yeah. is inspiring. For sure, that's it love. really is. That's love. God bless you. Continue to do what you do. That's love, man. You know what I'm saying? I respect Continue to do what you do. You if vet. I never saw you again, you vet, nigga. continue to do what you do. That's respect, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got shit to say, but respect. From the bottom to the top, I ain't no different. It ain't. Play failure. this game. Failure. Play this game. Failure's the ultimate diagnose to success. Like, ain't not, like you it. ain't got nothing else. That's it. Play this game like you ain't got nothing else. Yeah, that's it. And if anybody tell you different, then they lying. They lying. Them, them celebrities, them people singing and all that bullshit. They lying. They lying. Failure is an ultimate antidote to success. When you fail, you get stronger. And when you get stronger, you get successful. And that's it. It don't, it don't cover nothing else. It don't come with nothing else. Like, I could talk to you from, from living to, like, eating to, like, relationships. To anything, it's failure equals success. And anyone say they, anything different than that, then they lying to you. Whoever tells you that, they, they tell you the truth. And that's success. If you have failure, you have success. And you know what I'm saying? My, my man's right here. He, he only could talk to me because he's talking from the real. He understand that. You know what I'm saying? BX all day. You people, already know. People don't, under, <laughs> people don't understand that. They don't understand that. I'm from Tucson, Arizona, so they write me off. Like, he from Arizona. Like, he don't know. Nah, nah. There's a hood everywhere. Everywhere. Yo, if you if you Shit, fail, go to Dahi. If you go fail, to Dahi in, in Lebanon. Yo, my nigga, Listen. if you fail, you can succeed. Amen. And when you fail, you do succeed. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to end it like that. 
Tag That's TV. That's it. Corey Williams, Terrell Stokeland. Big B's on this motherfucker. You have a good night. We will see you again. You understand what this shit good is. Good night. Nigga. Happy Big Easter. Big B's on this motherfucker. Cheers. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Uh -huh. <laughs>